stroker, geyser, geyser, however you pronounce it, basically a pool of water and then it shoots up like 300 feet into the air. So I am on my way there. That is my one and only activity for the day. I am driving along this beautiful long stretch of a road and it's just so freaking gorgeous. I have to show y'all. This really looks like one of the commercials where you're like the only person on the road and then they're advertising a certain type of car. Yeah. Iceland is so country. I didn't even realize it. Oh my God. It's so beautiful though. I love it. So yeah. I'll be there in like an hour. So I will see y'all soon. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god they say it erupts every three minutes but we'll see because i heard people say i've been here for an hour and i still didn't see anything happen well i'm only gonna be here for an hour so i better see something pop off you heard you heard and i hope i don't gotta pay for parking because iceland has made me broke you know what let me let me just tell y'all this let me just tell y'all this two things number one a small fry at a fast food restaurant costs five dollars and 43 cents a small fry just a small fry okay five dollars and 43 cents a bottle of water costs four dollars y'all is an island why does it cost four dollars for a bottle of water i haven't even been keeping up with how much i've been spending in Iceland because it's just been so much and it's very discouraging because i'm like this is ridiculous this is this is a lot all right let's go see this guy <laughs> All right, we're here, guys. Okay, so they say be very, very, very careful of the water because it is super, super hot. The water is 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. <coughs> that ass hot. Oh no, is that, is that it? Did I just miss it? You are here at your own risk. Bro, 176 to 194 degrees. Don't touch the water with your hands, it will burn. The nearest hospital is, oh my God. Bro, look how hot this is. Like you can hear it boiling. That's crazy. 176 degree water. there for like 20 more minutes that's so dope and i got a picture with it look you right you right so now i'm about to walk back to the car and yeah that's my day today because i leave tomorrow to go home and season one of the black packer will be over so sad but ready to go home now i wanted to see the northern lights but it's too cloudy so you have to wait until it's a clear sky to be able to see it so I'm not gonna be able to see it this time, but it's okay. Cause there's other states and other countries where you can see the Northern Lights. So I'll see it then. So I am back in the car. I am on my way back to the hostel. It's about like an hour and a half drive. Once I get there, I'm going to give me some Domino's because Iceland doesn't have anything. Like their food options are so limited. Like the only thing that they eat out here and I'm just joking, but I'm for real. You know, I'm not trying to offend nobody. But the only thing they eat out of here are ram testicles and sheep head and fish. I don't want none of that. And soup. I don't want any of that. And it's just, it's crazy, okay? So 
So I just got my pizza and it's so good. I haven't tried it yet. This lighting is amazing. <laughs> Look at this Capri Sun. Mango and passion fruit. Oh my God, I will move to Iceland just for this. And then I got my pizza. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a pan pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, and spinach boo. Period. Hey, Black Packers. So I just left Domino's. I just finished eating. As you can see, it is extremely dark out here. I'm about to go inside, take a shower, and get in the bed because I live tomorrow. Oh my god. <clears throat> And I have a reservation for the Blue Lagoon. I'm so excited for that. So yeah, good night, you guys. I will see you all bright and early in the morning. Hopefully I'm not rushing, because if I'm not rushing, then I will be able to say good morning to you all. And if I am rushing, then I'll just see you all at the Blue Lagoon. Good night. Good morning, y'all. I am on my way to the Blue Lagoon. I'm on time. I'll be there 12 minutes before my reservation, so that's good it's like a 40 minute drive and it's only like a 10 minute drive away to the airport from the blue lagoon so that's lit my flight leaves at 4 45 i'm probably gonna cry because my trip is over i don't know we'll see i'll see you at the blue lagoon though all right i'm gonna show y'all what the real scenery of the blue lagoon looks like since people only want to show the blue waters this is what it looks like when you're driving up to it it's very ugly <laughs> it's so ugly it looks like a volcano we erupted like 10 times over here sheesh all right you guys i'm here and i have officially switched over to my phone camera all right Let's see how inside it's cold <laughs> oh my god it is cold oh my god it's cold oh my god Oh man. Okay, this water is much warmer than the other one in Budapest. I got three good minutes to be with my phone and I'm putting it up. Wow, this looks magical. Like this water is actually hot. And it's not even that many people. So these are block blocks, and they've been here for at least 800 years. I just wanted to show y'all that before. I'm about to go get my mud mask, because they have mud masks. Skin type. Now I go back to being lame because I gotta put my glasses on. So I gotta leave this on my face for 10 minutes. So during that time, I'm gonna walk over to the bar because you get a complimentary drink. I see the strawberry sparkling wine. That sounds so good. These smoothies sound good too, but I don't care. I bought the smoothie. This is so cute. So I got the strawberry sparkling wine. Cheers, you guys, to my last couple hours in Europe. I cannot believe I'm about to leave in like a couple hours. It feels so unreal. <sighs> Look at my face mask falling off. I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna go. <laughs> All right. Oh God, I just got in my eye. I hope I don't go blind. All right, let's wash this off. So I'm about to put my phone up and enjoy the water. Ah, 
that is giving me anxiety walking around my phone. So I will see you all later when I get in the car on the way to the airport. And if not, then I will see you at the airport. Y'all, as I was filling up the rental car, somebody stole my debit card information, put $200 worth of gas into their car. I'm at the airport though. I was trying to make a purchase at a store and it was talking about some insufficient funds. I was like, wait, hold on. I know I have money on my car. No, I didn't. They took my last little $200 that I had on my car and gonna put it in their car. How, like, how did they even get my information is beyond me. I don't, I'm so careful, but that definitely made me sad. And then I have a middle seat on the plane for the six hour flight. And I don't have a place to stay tonight because I was trying to get an Airbnb and the host sent me um, the host sent me a request to book it. As soon as I went to go book it, he gave it away to somebody else. So I might have to sleep at the airport. I'm very irritated. Like I can't even cry that my trip is over because now I have other stuff on my mind. I'm so sad, you guys. I'm sad because my trip is over. I'm sad because somebody stole my information. I'm sad because they had to close my card. And it took me forever to remember that card number and now I'm not gonna know my new card number and I'm just like, sad because I don't have no place to stay tonight. I don't know where I'm gonna stay. I'm stressed out. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I made it this far. <coughs> Haven't gotten robbed or kidnapped or anything like that, so I'm grateful. Yeah, this is supposed to be a happy ending. I'm supposed to be flying and on to the sunset. I'm saying I hope you all enjoy season one, but I'm over here soaking in my sadness. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm still happy though. I still have my joy. All exits.